What do you make of Daryl Morey's decision to step down from the Rockets? Um, I was bummed out by this, and then I thought about it for a second, and it reminded me of back when Ricky Williams was such an eccentric, and he was an artist sort of trying to fit in on Army's rigidities. I was like, Daryl Morey doesn't seem like he fits in this world, this world of basketball. He likes other things. He's a creative. He's somebody who's writing musicals about sexual giants in his spare time. <laughs> and he's sort of fiddling around with this uh, this little toy of basketball and saying, oh, I'll put James Harden here. I'll take big swings. I won't be conservative at all. I hope this is him getting on to a new creative life because basketball, the world is too small for him. Yeah, this is obviously breaking news for us, so there isn't much that I can add to that. I'll just say that my personal experience with Daryl Murray, because I've gone to his Sloan conference in Boston for the past couple of years, he just didn't feel like the kind of guy that normally is in that role, and that's not a negative, and it's not even necessarily a positive. He just was, uh, I don't know, he was very welcoming, and he was very easy to talk to. I've texted with him, and that's not a thing I can say, because if you know the kind of stuff I do on this network, it's not really the person who texts with sources. Uh, he drinks Mountain Dew on stage at Sloan. It's just like all these little things about him that make him different and interesting and easy to approach. Uh, so it's a, a bummer to see him go. But I do want to commemorate what he did with the Houston Rockets, though, because as the history of basketball culture goes, He's a seminal figure. He is the Billy Bean of the NBA in various respects, founding that conference of nerds that all of us, I think, have gone to at some point, just being one piece of it. The Houston Rockets are hailed as this template for being a data-driven, analytically-minded front office that other teams have tried to copy. He has had a fruitful front office general managing tree. But when this news came out, my first thought was, yeah, I'm not surprised by this. He's been warring with his owner, Tillman Fertitta, who's kind of a loose cannon businessman in his own right. But the second thing is, it's not surprising because Daryl Morey, let's not forget, is seminal because he's the guy who tweeted free Hong Kong, that meme, had to delete it and launched this entire political fight between the NBA and America and China. And so for that reason, the disappearance of Daryl Morey after this past season always felt foretold. I'm just curious how much that's going to rise to the surface as we do the post-mortem on it. For all the reasons you guys gave, I think this isn't particularly surprising, right? Like after the China incident, I imagine he's kind of sick of all of this and wants a break. Katie, you're right. He's like this creative, interesting guy who's clearly um, keen on going into other fields. I mean, my first interaction with Daryl Morey was that he tried to hire me to do an Etch-a-Sketch to lure <laughs> free agents. This is an actual wow. thing that happened wow. a few years ago. Wow, um, name drop, Etch-a-Sketch etch drop. Mean, she just, that's never I, been done before. Never in the history of television yeah. has someone, do you have it? Is it nearby? My Etch-a-Sketch is downstairs, but never in the history of television has someone name dropped via Etch-a-Sketch, but also never in the history of basketball has a GM tried to lure a free agent with an Etch-a-Sketch. I had to tell Daryl that if I did this, I would then have to report on who he was trying to bring in via my Etch-a-Sketch source, Sources. which would wow. probably be a Sources. first in the history of basketball. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Number the mean one, a difference. Number one, what kind of a weirdo NBA superstar would look at that Etch-a-Sketch <laughs> by Mina Kimes and be like, yes. This is my team. And number two, if that news that Mina just broke herself had come out before Daryl's deposal, I would have been like, yeah, he probably stepped down because that is super humiliating. <laughs> and right now, uh, it, it has gritty. That was the last thing I etch sketched. She's really, really comes really she's comes re across. In she's this really medium. good at it. She, <laughs> she is. It's a strange. It's such an unusual talent to have. <laughs> yeah, it's not really working. I can't. Oh, there, there oh I see. Wow. Oh, there he is. There's old Gritty. Wow. Look at that. Look at look at that. That's pretty good nice. for an etch a sketch. Like I don't know Even how. Even that flyer's logo is pretty good. This is amazing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.